So another, another little funny quirk of living in China, I pop the breakers all the time. Any room I go into, I plug in a device and all the breakers pop. Um, especially with my iron. I think it's because it takes a lot of power to heat something up. So I go from room to room to room finding which outlet can handle the iron. This morning, it's the kitchen. So ironically, where the most things are plugged in between the espresso, between the dishwasher, which is running between two refrigerators, two freezers, the microwave oven, which is plugged in. This is the room where the breaker right now is not popping. So I'm going to put down the camera and I got to iron my shirt and my pants before this breaker pops. meet Sean for breakfast. Um, it's actually lunchtime, um, but he just texted me, so I'm going to head out and go meet him and hopefully get some good food. So I am uh, just finished eating breakfast with Sean and I'm actually headed to go find a comic book store that I heard about. Uh, it's down over here behind me, somewhere back there in these buildings. Um, it's down like a supposedly a really sketchy alley. Um, I'm not a huge comic book fan to be honest with you, uh, but anything that is vaguely uh, American, um, I definitely want to go try to check out. Uh, supposedly the guy who opened it is a uh, US guy who loves Chinese food. And that's why he moved here That's the rumor at least so anyhow I'm gonna go try to find it and uh, see what they have and hopefully uh, maybe make a new friend who knows All right, so I think I'm down the right street The directions say I'm supposed to head down till I see Isatan Right there. So I found Isatan. Now I'm looking for Zara. And then at Zara, I guess it's on the left and down an alley. All right, I found Zara. Zara's right here. All right, I think I found the sketchy alley. It definitely looks sketchy. I'm supposed to turn here. I think it's down here. I don't even like comic books. Here's the sign. All right, so if nobody sees me again going down this dark alley, just know that I went in search of comic books for some reason, which will make no sense to anybody that knows me because I don't particularly like comic books. Looks like I'm here. All right, so I survived the comic book store trip. Super cool little shop. Um, yeah, I didn't film inside because uh, I just met uh, the guys. So maybe next time I go, I'll show you guys a little bit of the inside of the store, but I don't want to harass them and shove my camera in their face. Um, really cool place. It's called Comic Book Ren, and Ren means uh, people. Yeah. Hello. 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 Who's this guy? Look. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, so it means uh, comic book people or person. Person? People? I don't remember, but it's, anyways, Ren, R E N. Uh, so I will be coming back. I bought a comic book. I said I'm not really into comic books. I haven't been traditionally, but it was one I've always wanted to read. Uh, it's like Why the Last Man or something like that. Supposedly, it's like one of the best science fiction stories ever written. So I've always wanted to read it. 
Now I have an excuse to support local businesses. Uh, yeah, the guy was from Oklahoma, and his uh, girlfriend or wife uh, was from Arkansas. So that was pretty cool. They, hello. They did literally move here because of the food, uh, which is just wild. So Matt and Ashley are their names. Really cool people. And they love hot pot, which Chengdu is famous for. And they loved a couple other dishes that they rattled off in like perfect Chinese that I didn't catch. Uh, I've probably eaten it before, but just didn't recognize the name. And they literally moved here for the food. And they opened up a comic book shop. So, really freaking cool. You know, I love seeing people do well. I love seeing people take a chance on life to do what they want in life, to do something different than maybe what everybody does. Uh, and it's just super cool, you know, to see somebody taking a chance, taking a risk, moving across the world for food and opening up a business in a foreign country. Really, really, really cool. All right, so I'm coming out of the metro in Tongzilin, which is near where the restaurant that I'm gonna eat at. I think I gotta walk this way. I always get confused here. I'm walking by a Ferrari dealership right now. Yeah, this is Chengdu, China. No one even knows the city. And everybody here's got a freaking luxury car, it seems like. I swear, I see more Teslas, Ferraris, uh, any of those kinds of Maseratis, uh, any of that kind of stuff. I see more of that here than I did in the US. Now, I didn't live in Beverly Hills, but I lived in a very rich suburb of Sacramento, California, which is the state's capital. So a lot of politicians, a lot of rich farming families, uh, so on and so forth, lived in that area. And it could not hold a candle to the luxury that I see in China. A street side flower cart. I think I'm gonna be right on time to my reservation, I think. About a block and a half away. It's been a nice walk, I've been cooped up too much. All right, finished dinner at Mike's Pizza, and uh, it was really good. Had a pizza with pepperoni, and vegetables, and a couple beers, three beers. I'm feeling pretty good, good IPAs. subway car. So I went one stop in the wrong direction. Hey, yeah, yeah, I wasn't paying attention in my own head, thinking about things, contemplating life. And I got on the wrong subway car. <laughs> Through the parking garage. Uh, I'm beat. Oh. All right, I'm going to bed. Good night.